it does. So I just put the massage gun on like my target muscle or whatever, and it kind of like primes it, like brings blood flow to the area. So no harm trying. <laughs> so I've been trying to do that like every workout. Just kind of like do this. Not too much because you don't want to actually like loose, like, I don't know, like loosen it. You just want to like bring blood flow to the area. And then post workout is where you want to like do it more for like recovery and like getting rid of knots and all that kind of stuff. So, in case you don't know, we're training shoulders today. And of course, Ethan is back. I know you all miss him a lot. <laughs> It's cold, it's six degrees. Shit. Four degrees according to mine. Four degrees? Yeah. Oh my god. So triple layers. Don't worry, we've got the Mercedes back. So we got seat warmers. I think like in Subi, they have like really thin like baguettes and then they do like a good like chicken and abra one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah right. It's like French. We'll go there. In case you didn't know, my car didn't start, like, in the last vlog. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. But like, my car didn't start. I didn't have my car for a whole week. But now, we got a new battery. And she's back. You did you kill the battery? Yeah, so like, I was supposed, like I was literally supposed to go to the gym. So I was like, ate my breakfast, pre-workout, everything. Like, it was like, I don't know, like six in the morning, like nobody was awake. So Jeremy was still sleeping. And then I was like, duh, 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 duh. Oh my god, I'm all starting. Shit. It was like <laughs> the worst thing ever. But it was fine. What did, what did you do? Waited for Jeremy to wake up. So you were there with your pre-workout, like. Yeah, so but like it was it was fine and like he was like pretty much kind of already like waking up and I was like, oh I need to go to the gym. So he just woke up straight away. Like and luckily like Jeremy's not like super um like he doesn't care, so um he, he was like, I'm not gonna eat. Like he just took pre. I just had to wait for him to like change, take his pre-workout, and grow. Like he didn't have to eat breakfast or anything, so that was all good. So we're still just sitting here getting the car to warm up because I don't know. It's getting old now. Need a new one. Need, need the Tesla. Nah, I still really. I was really sad when I didn't have the car. I was driving my brother's car, which was fine, and my mom's car. I just refused to drive Jeremy's car because, I don't know, is it crazy that I don't want to drive an M4? <laughs> <laughs> Too much power. Yeah, that, it's like very heavy and apparently it's like a heavy duty clutch, whatever the hell that means. I just know it's super just like, you know what I mean, like, I don't know. And also, it's, it's a little bit hard to put into park, you have to like, put it into drive and it's just a little bit complicating, so. I mean, some people would say my car is complicating to drive. But, you know. Alright. I think that's good enough. We can go. So you got shoulders today? Yes. So today we're training shoulders, which I'm super excited about. I am not 100% sure about exactly what we're gonna do so um again in case you guys didn't know i'm currently doing my own programming have been since i came back to perth and i'm like really really enjoying it at the moment so yeah we're gonna probably go heavy today i think i'm feeling pretty recovered um also i don't have a set split i kind of like just go by how my muscles feel and are recovering. So at the moment I'm training a little bit more upper than lower. And, but yeah, if I'm too sore, like I'll take a day off or whatever. By the way, I literally can't see because it's like frozen. <laughs> I feel so glad. It's 
I think my, my only leg day is a hamstring oh, day. Oh, you should join looks, me. You need like you to join me for my hamstring All right. day. Because I took Jeremy through my hamstring day. <laughs> but like he didn't really like do it properly properly. Alright, I'll I'll come do it with you. I'll die. Because he was like matching me on certain weights and I'm like, no, like you're not supposed to do the yeah. same. And he's like, nah nah. <laughs> I'm like, no no. We're not doing the same thing. Oh yeah, no, seriously, you should do it. Take off my puffer. <laughs> Damn, pump cover's coming off. <laughs> nah, I'm have a set program I do blog my stuff so I pretty much have like a training diary now um, that I use an app for I don't really want to plug them so I'm not gonna tell you what app I use <laughs> um, but S Legion app coming soon but yeah I use a different app at the moment just to like track um, and just to keep note but if you need to keep note of your training you can just use notes a book or whatever it's good to kind of keep track so you kind of know what you've been doing especially if you're not following a set program at the moment warm-up sets because I'm trying to go a little bit heavier so I just want to make sure that like I don't get injured and I do like train pretty often so I need to make sure that like I'm feeling good and my warm-up sets are for me to also kind of feel where my strength is at where my recovery is at so I know exactly how heavy to go for the next few sets so obviously our first exercise we're gonna be doing a dumbbell lateral raise um, just did my warm-up set um, I will do a set of five kilos now and then I'll decide after whether I consider it a warm up or my actual working set. But last week I checked my log, um, I did my first set with four kilos. So um, today I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll start with five and see how we go. So I'm going heavier than I normally do. Um, just in the past videos and stuff, like I've been going a little bit heavier these days, but I'm gonna do as many as I can, as controlled as possible. So I'm still very much believing in controlling the weight and really getting good at execution, but I'm just using a little bit more momentum <laughs> these days, especially towards my last few reps. But still maintaining good mind muscle connection.
done two working sets so far. This will be my last set. For my last set, I'll do normal working set. And then I'm gonna do an extra heavy set, but only partials at the bottom. And then I'm gonna drop it down to a lighter weight and like rip those out. Full range of motion. Again, mind muscle connection the whole way through. However, I will be using a little bit more momentum because it's the last one and I really want to kind of burn it out. Pretty much going to failure on this set. Wearing what people call a pump cover. <laughs> I don't have much of a pump yet because it's only the first six of mine. We'll get a pump after this one for sure, I guarantee. If you want a pump, do this little lateral race finish on. And then the trick is, you end it with like really tensing and squeezing to get all the blood flow in. I learned this from Jeremy, he did not tell me, but I see him right in people's programs. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna be doing that. All right, and then that's it, that's the workout. We're going home now. <laughs> I like to start with like, an isolation exercise these days again just to get nice and warmed up and get like blood flow and whatnot going in and then now now we're gonna move on to heavy pressing now that like the delts are all like nice and pumped up when I say heavy I'm not very strong so like heavy for me Challenging. Let's not count. <laughs> Let's bump it to 25 and I'll do 25 for my first set. Probably slowly work up after that. We'll try to hit 30 plus for about eight reps if we can. We'll see.
got seven. That was failure for sure. Sorry, I got seven. I'll aim for at least six for my last one. And then we'll drop set. Just to get the volume. It's definitely, it's definitely, yeah, you can, you can feel the air con. I have like goosebumps. Why is the air con? I don't know. Last set, we'll get as many as we can. We're aiming for six. But if we get eight, I won't complain. And regardless, we'll drop it anyways. which I also logged in my little training diary. I did get the eight that I wanted to, but I know the last two was not full range of motion. I just wanted to kind of get through it. These are the times where like, if you are training with a training partner, like they'd be able to help you get those last two. But if you're by yourself, it's fine to not have perfect reps. Obviously I still had all the initiation and making sure my delts were moving. I wasn't like shrugging my traps or anything, but it was just like, I didn't go as low as I did the other um, reps. And then with the drop set, I did double drop set. And then towards the end, I did like partials down the bottom because I'm a bit weaker through this area here. And hence why when I normally press, I get like a sticking point where like I kind of can't go past and I'm just not super strong in that mid range. So I did little partials there to really kind of burn it out. And it really like just pump central, baby.
my arm out and take place. Smith machine press or cable lateral raises. You've done one press. Okay. You've done like one of each though already. Yeah. Send it. Hmm? Send it. Yeah. We'll do the cable laterals first. Yes. It's a compromise since I am doing a lot of laterals today. These two sets won't be till failure in a Don't hit failure. one and a half rep again just to like try and improve in this area where I'm super weak in because that's where I think like I'm just shit at for shoulders like I'm just pretty weak at pressing in general so we're trying to get stronger and I don't have weight on here but this bar is freaking heavy it's 20 kilos and always make sure you sit close enough. It has to like nearly hit your face. I normally don't do VCAs, but I've just been doing it more often now. And I take it like mid workout. <laughs> Some mid set cocaine. <laughs> the gym is the only place where you can have a big bag of powder and nobody is going to suspect a thing. obviously a little bit more explosive which you guys are obviously always very used to seeing me do things very slow controlled so I feel like I build a good foundation of mind muscle connection so I allow myself on certain movements to go a little bit more explosive I also train shoulders about two to three times a week so I'll have different days where like some days I'll go heavier and more explosive and some days I'll go a bit slower today is a bit of a mixture so obviously a lot of the movements today were quite explosive or I normally start off with like quite controlled and then moving on to explosive so today is just like super high intensity heavy kind of thing so um, for my last two exercises which will firstly be this rope front raise and I'll be doing some cable road outs I'm gonna try and be more slower more controlled with these movements and just like really really get the burn in saying that I am going to bump the weight up on this one but I am still gonna go slow and control Enjoying my workouts a little lately. 
Does it make you want to trade? It's just yeah. it's fun, right? I'm like, oh, like, I think, I don't know. Maybe I just come up with like fun stuff. So it's good to like be able to self regulate and do certain things. But like, I still like to stick to like a set program on certain days. So now I'm still kind of like shoulders at the moment. I haven't picked a set workout and routine that I like. But especially for my leg days, I've already kind of like got a perfect, like you guys saw in the last video, my glute and hamstring workout. I've kind of like found something that really works, a full workout that really works for me. So that's something that I'm just going to be repeating week after week and just trying to improve on those same movements. I still strongly believe in all the basics and stuff like that. So a lot of my exercises I'm doing now are all like recycled, like I've been doing all of them. However, I haven't found like a set, set program that I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this every single time only because um, I train shoulders pretty often so sometimes if I feel like I pressed a lot today for example like today I did press pretty heavy my next shoulder workout I probably won't be doing as much presses or maybe as heavy presses I might only do one pressing movement so I'm already thinking for my next workout I'll be doing a dumbbell um, shoulder press probably at 10 kilos seeing how many reps I can get out of that already. Last time I know I did about 15 in my previous workout. So I already kind of have these things in mind, um, but I probably won't be doing like a heavy hammer strength press like today, just because I just did that. So I'm not sticking to a set routine for shoulders yet, um, but it's still the basics, the same kind of movements, just different combinations at the moment. take this set to failure because this is my only riddle exercise. Um, I tend to kind of unknowing, not unknowingly, but like my riddles get hit when I do do back and I train back probably once or twice a week plus like shoulders a couple of times. So I feel like my riddles get hit quite a bit. Um, they're also, I guess, one of the stronger points of my shoulders. So uh, I don't need to do too much. I do love the look of them. I love training them. So obviously I still do them. Um, but yeah, so we'll just do two sets. Obviously, the first one was a working set. This one, we're gonna take it to failure, and then we're done for the day. Yeah. 